Hi again. In the next couple of minutes, um, I would like to show you one of the tools that I use as well called TradingView.com. Um, it is a tool that I use to screen for stocks as well as um, to look at certain charts and do uh, chart things. So of course, uh, you know, this course is more on looking at financial ratios and financial statements. So we wouldn't talk much about charts or charting today. Um, yeah, so to get uh, started, go to tradingview.com. Um, there are different functions again on this page. Um, I like to use their stock screener to start with. So if you go under screener, stock screener, you can, um, yeah, pretty much uh, screen any stocks that you want. It depends on how you put the filter. So if we adjust the filter here, um, you can see that it is also quite international. It has different stock markets from uh, the States, uh, Europe, Asia. So let's look at the example if we are looking at the US stock market. Yeah. So then, um, you know, whether it is uh, fundamental or technical, there are different ways to screen a stock. But for the purpose of this course, we want to look at fundamental. So there are different ratios here. Let's uh, you know briefly go through. Current ratio, let's say uh, we want it to be above one. So if we put uh, above and one, then we will filter for a stock that is above a current ratio of one. So the debt to equity ratio, we want to make sure that it is as low as possible. So let's say we put it below one. Um, yeah, and as we move on, so it is, you know, whatever uh, criteria or filters that they have here, you can select. So let's say if you're a dividend investor and you want to make sure that uh, you get at least a 2% dividend per year, then yeah, just key in 2 and above here. And then, um, yeah, let's see what is interesting. Yeah, you can select um, the gross margin, you can select the net margin. Net of the company um, you can select the price to book for uh, for your information fy stands for full year mrq stands for most recent quarter ttm stands for uh, trailing 12 months yep okay let's say uh, return on equity we want to put it above 20 or rather um, yeah keep it simple let's put 15 and then yeah you can select you know if you want a company that has more than uh, 10 billion in earnings or revenue per year so however you want to set it uh, you can set it um, through this uh, filter here let's say for instance if we go to descriptive so you only want to buy uh, say from a sector of um, you know communications uh, consumables and consumer services, for instance. Yeah, so that is possible as well. Yeah, anyways, uh, you get the point, yeah? So uh, based on all the um, things that we have learned from reading through financial statements and all the different uh, financial ratios, uh, you can pretty much uh, screen for stocks based on the criteria that you have set. So uh, we have already set a few different uh, functions here. So let's get to it then. So from close to 5,000 stocks, we have now narrowed down to uh, 11 matches based on the uh, functions that we have uh, set. So uh, all these stocks are in the US, yeah, because we have selected the US market. So, you know, I'll just uh, click one of it, for instance. Uh, yeah, uh, let's say New Skin Enterprises. And then uh, once you click on that, it brings you to this page that shows you um, the stock chart of um, New Skin Express. It uh, yeah gives you a lot of um, ideas as well from, from different contributors. Um, but yeah, you can actually look at... Uh, sorry, I'll come to that.
Okay, yep, so um, we have 11 matches here. Let's say, for instance, we click on Snap On Incorporated. We click on this, it brings you to a separate page that shows you the stock chart of uh, Snap On Incorporated. Yeah, so you can select, you know, whether it's a one month view, three months view, six months view, you can compare it to the um, SP 500 index. You know, how is it performing relative to it? Yeah, if we switch that off. Uh, one good thing is, um, you know, similarly, it also shows you uh, different uh, financial ratios here as well. So uh, it shows you the quick ratio, current ratio, uh, yeah, price to book, price to sales, margins, income statement, uh, well, at least the financial ratios or the important numbers from the income statement, ROE. So yeah, you know, it, it, it has quite a fair bit of um, ratios that we have covered in our course. So this is a useful tool actually not to uh, look at the summary, but it gives you a screening mechanism from close to 5,000 stocks. Uh, it narrows down to say 11 based on the criteria that we have set. So it gives you some investing or trading ideas when you screen for stocks based on your um, financial ratios criteria. So after this, I would show you another page called investing.com, which gives you uh, well, a bit or quite a bit more of details on the three financial statements. Uh, so yeah, I only use TradingView for uh, screening stocks and looking at charts. And when it comes to analyzing the financial statements, I have the other tool that I use, investing.com. So you will hear about that in the next chapter. Yeah. So thank you. And um, yeah, we'll speak soon again.